Hey guys, welcome back. And you know, I've done wave one of the um, you know the FOC deluxes. Uh, I I guess technically I've done wave one of the um, Voyagers. Um, you know, granted I don't have Sound Blaster, but if you have Sound Wave, there you go. Um, I don't have you know Buzz Saw, but if you have Laser Beak, there you go. Um, I already did Grimlock. I don't have Blaster, unfortunately. And I, I very recently done Soundwave. And to be fair, I should do his minions since I did get them. But uh, this is going to be really short, and these are not that great. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? Let's let's go through it. Let's go through it and have a look at Legends Ravage and Legends Rumble. In the latest Gotbot True review. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. I appreciate you dropping by. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check me out everywhere, and you know. I always appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Uh, and we're going to look right at these guys immediately, uh, starting with Rumble. Uh, okay, so Paint Apps, he's blue. He is blue. Um, so right away, I'm going to give his Paint Apps a, um, a 10. Uh, I'll give him a 10. It's blue. It's Rumble. I Thank goodness they actually called the blue guy Rumble. Um Pose ability, playability, well, the head doesn't move, the arms go all the way around, uh, they don't have an elbow, they don't go in and out, well, I guess they kind of go in and out if you do it this way, if, if you think that's good, but again, it's all spring-loaded, uh, he does bend at the waist, uh, I guess that's kind of cool, uh, the legs don't move forward or back, but there's a, a knee, and there's toe articulation um pose ability playability <sighs> two two transformation for this guy um you face his arms up straight and bring them behind him you need to hold them together you flip in the toes you take his whole body and bring it up around while also splitting his legs i feel like this is a lot of stuff that got to be done concurrently and while holding because he's spring-loaded um, and there you go you get him in this mode uh, his transformation I feel like that's a lot for kids to hold on to uh, his transformation I'm gonna give it about a three he's not great it's not a great rumble I, I wanted a rumble I have a rumble will I replace him with the Titans Returns I think Titans Returns is gonna be way better if you don't have these guys I would say get them but I don't know if I'm going to bother replacing him uh, minor enough character and I have a representation. I'm, I'm okay with him on the shelf. Again, he has that button for the auto transformation thing. Um, even after the auto transformation is done, you need to put the arms down and you need to flip out the toes. I, I guess his legs, I should have also said, splay out to the side. Overall, he's eh, maybe a four, three or four. Um, he, of course, can also fit in the chest of Soundwave and, you know, be popped out just like Laserbeak. And then we come to Ravage. I, uh, I've always loved Ravage. Uh, thought he was such a cool cat. Pardon the pun. Cool cat. Uh, this is not a great Ravage either. But I'm going to say this. That Ravage is better than the Titans Returns Ravage. I think that thing looks like it's going to be awful. Um, Poseability. Uh, well, actually, paint apps. Color. Um... Again, 10, it's, it's a black Ravage. He has silver on the legs like he should. Um, even the even the head sculpt is good with gold eyes. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, actually. The tail is okay. I, I don't, I, a lot of people don't like that all of this is loose. Don't like that his body is sort of hollow here. But I, I don't mind. I, I, yeah, okay, it's Ravage. I know it's Ravage. I'm kind of cool with it, to be honest with you. Um... So is paint apps really good? 
pose ability, play ability. Uh, well, the head does nothing. The legs go forward, and the head moves when the legs go forward. It's all one piece. Uh, the back legs, they can move up and down and bend at the knee. It's for transformation, but, I mean, you, you have that articulation if you wanted him sitting or... You know, if you want him sitting or crouching or something. Um, the tail moves, I guess. So his articulation is a little bit better than his. And everything on this guy isn't um, automorph-tastic, if, if, that's, if that's a term. Um, we'll say five for his pose ability, play ability. Of course, in data disc mode, he doesn't do anything. You know, it is what it is. Uh, transformation for this guy, most complicated transformation of all of these. The tail flips up, and the whole head flips back, and you need to hold it there and bring the body mass up over. You'll notice these front paws aren't in here yet. We close up those leg pieces there, and we flip them up so that the... Cybertronian writing, uh, writing or circuitry or whatever it is, is all, you know, running together. These push up. You take it from the center here and you push it up. You might be worried that it's going to break, but I've had mine now a few years and it has not. Um, you push those in. I would hold them there. And then finally, you bring the front paws down and lock them in. And boom, there you go, the data di disk mode. He, again, goes into Soundwave. By the way, Soundwave can hold up to three of these data disks. It's tight. It's a tight fit, but he can do it. Um, if you press the button on the bottom for the auto transformation, you know, you basically get this much of them done. So you still need to flip the tail back out, and you still need to bring the back leg down and bring the back leg down. Uh, his transformation is... Kind of ingenious to get him him folded up. So I'm going to give his transformation, uh, you know, about... I'm going to give him an 8. I, I think it's pretty cool that he flips up like he does. I think it's a way more interesting transformation than Rumble's is. Um, so, overall, for this set, because this came in a 2-pack. These guys came together. Overall, this set, eh, it's probably 5. It's probably a 5, and I'm being kind of generous because they're not great figures. It's just they had to go with the gimmick. And like I've said before, I'm not a gimmick guy. I'm just not a gimmick guy. Um, I wouldn't run out and, and hunt these guys down. If you have the FOC Soundwave, yeah, you should have them. If you've been wondering, do I go with the Voyager FOC or do I go with the Titan's Return, uh, I think you're going to get more playability with the Titan's Return. I just think he's the wrong size. And... For me, I love the FOC stuff, um, so I'm going to stick with that and be very happy that I did. Um, that's it. That's it for this set. Uh, and I thank you for watching. I thank you for spending a little bit of your valuable time with me. Um, and I certainly look forward to the next time that we get together right here for a visit inside the video.